for the right audience, A Dog Gone Christmas is not too bad. This was released in 2016. It's directed by Jim Wynorski and it's written by Wynorski, Josh Holt and J. Brad Wilka and it's about a telepathic dog. And the dog is absolutely adorable. It's a little Jack Russell. I'm a big fan of Jack Russell's. So that really appealed to me. And at the beginning of the film, the dog is actually with the CIA and he manages to escape because he's not exactly treated very nicely. He is treated as a specimen rather than as a an actual living, breathing dog. And some children happened to find this dog and he's called Murphy. They call him Murphy. And they decide to try and keep the dog, but then they realise on his collar that it says property of CIA. And of course, they begin to panic that they've stolen this government dog. And I don't want to say too much more about the specifics, just in case you do decide to watch it. But I will say it's maybe not necessarily the most fascinating narrative. And I feel like the audience is not necessarily clear because we basically have two parts of the narrative, the part focusing on the children, which I thought was actually quite fun and interesting. The dog is also there. And the part where the government officials are trying to track down the dog. And I feel like for very young children, the scenes with the dog and the children will be quite interesting or for children of any age. But the scenes with the CIA, the dialogue there, I don't think is going to appeal to some children in the way that the other half would. So it kind of feels like the audience is quite mixed. I personally didn't care that much about the CIA scenes. I could not care less. But the scenes with the dog and his communication with the children, I thought was actually rather sweet. So for me, I feel like half of the film was okay. It was not too bad. And half of the film was kind of boring. Some people might like the CIA part of it. And you might find the bits with the children to be quite dull but it does feel like a film of two halves so that's just worth bearing in mind if you do decide to watch it and I guess I do recommend it with regards to the characters really likeable the children are all great the performances are, are lovely and the dog is adorable if you like dog based films you'll get a lot out of this because the dog's in it a lot it's not one of those films where it's about a dog but the dog hardly features he's in it throughout pretty much throughout and the children are brilliant, the performances are great, the characters are okay. The Christmas aspect, it's not as Christmassy as I would like. But there is enough Christmas in it, enough Christmas decorations particularly, that I'm happy enough that it's called a Christmas film. In theory, it could be said at any time of year, but there's enough Christmas in there for it to work as a Christmas film. It's a sweet film. It's not perfect. It's definitely slow in places. It's not going to be for everybody. But in general... If you like dog-based films, and if you like dog-based Christmas films in particular, then I'd say give it a go. As a one-time watch, it's quite sweet. It's a nice idea, not badly executed. I'm happy enough to recommend it.